Hey there, this is Eliora Sterling, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my experience getting my first prescription for testosterone. So if you've seen the other videos that I've done before, I've done a couple already about this experience. Uh, I had talked to my son and my daughter-in-law and said that I had decided that I was going to do this. When I first spoke to him, I talked about some medical concerns that I thought would kind of hold me back and I wanted to make sure that those were taken care of before I made an appointment because I really hate doctors and I don't want to go through the whole back and forth of you're too fat or whatever nonsense. Um, and my daughter-in-law was really encouraging and said, I think you should just go. You know, maybe some of the concerns that you have are not, not concerns you really need to have and talk to the doctor see what happens. So the next day I called up uh, Planned Parenthood. They have an informed consent policy. So the first thing that they do though is they set you up with a social worker appointment to make sure that the informed consent is truly informed. So the um, informed consent uh, social worker appointment was on Wednesday and of this past week and it was really fast I mean it was just a few days after when I had called up for the appointment and that went really well there was there was no judgment yes they had to ask questions how long have you been feeling this way how long have you been thinking about this uh, what are your expectations of being on testosterone what is it you want out of this what is your gender identity um, and she was really great about the fact that when she asked me the question what is your gender identity I just kind of stopped and I was like that's a good question <laughs> it was like well either non-binary leaning heavily to masculine or else male with a bit of non-binary thrown in I, I don't know maybe testosterone is going to change how I feel about that because hormones do things and she kind of smiled and laughed and said yeah I, I get that so yeah that wasn't any kind of a it wasn't any kind of a barrier to to say that I wasn't a hundred percent all manly man um, and so after the appointment was about 30 minutes long at the end of it she said that uh, she was going to recommend me for the next phase, which was getting a, a medical appointment uh, so that the doctor could give me a prescription. And uh, so after we got off the video conference, because this is COVID times and everything that can be telehealth is telehealth. So uh, about 15, 20 minutes after that video call, I got a phone call to make an appointment for my medical appointment and uh, they had said that it would be anywhere from a week to two weeks until I could get in for a medical appointment but then they were like oh hey look we have this appointment available tomorrow morning do you want it and I said uh, yes please so I had another appointment it was longer it was maybe 45 minutes long um, talking to the doctor. Um, before I spoke to the doctor, I had a call from uh, a nurse. Actually, slow down, back up. Um, I had a, a nurse or, a, or an assistant, I'm not sure who called me the first time, uh, on Thursday to kind of go back over my medical history and, uh, you know, all of the just basic things that they needed to know. I had already filled that stuff out on the website. They have a secure uh, medical records website that you put in a bunch of information. They went back over the stuff that was already on the medical site and then also asked me a few more questions. So then I got to speak to the nurse practitioner, not a medical doctor, but a nurse practitioner. Uh, in my experience, my experience with nurse practitioners has been 
much better than my experience with medical doctors here in the United States. Um, that doesn't necessarily hold true in every country I've been in, but here in the United States, definitely my luck with nurse practitioners has been so much better. So um, just in terms of them listening, actually paying attention to what I had to say, um, and being partners in my health, as opposed to, uh, you know, just telling me what was supposed to happen and then expecting me to follow along with them or basically if they don't know what's wrong, so often medical doctors will just be like, well, it must be in your head. I haven't figured out what it is, so it must be in your head. <laughs> um, anyway, so not sad to have a medical, uh, not sad to have a nurse practitioner uh, in this particular case. And she was excellent, uh, just like my other experiences, the majority of my experiences with nurse practitioners. Um, we had a good conversation, went over stuff about testosterone and um, kind of covered some of the like medical concerns, decided that there weren't any medical concerns at this time, um, and what we would be looking at in the future and how we would deal with it if concerns came up. She was really um, supportive in saying like, hey, if, if you do start having blood clotting, we're not gonna just take you off testosterone and say, no, you can't do this. We're gonna treat the blood clotting and find, figure out how to take care of you so that you can be whole. And I really appreciated that. Um, luckily for me so far, I have not had a blood clotting issue, uh, but my mom does. So it is a potential problem down the line. Anyway, what else? Yeah, so then at the end of that call, she said that she would call in the prescription and the next day I got a call from my pharmacy saying that my prescription was available and I was able to go pick it up. The other thing from the end of the appointment with the nurse practitioner is that she explained to me how I would have to go into the clinic, physically into the clinic, in order to pick up my shot kits with syringe and uh, wipes and all of that stuff to do my shots and that at that time I would also get training on how to give myself the shots. So my appointment for that is on Tuesday, which happens to be my 49th birthday. And I'm actually really happy because this whole thing has, it's come together very quickly and I don't know, it just, things have really flowed really well. But the day that I picked up the testosterone from the pharmacy was my birthday on the Hebrew calendar and the day that I'm getting my first shot is my birthday on the Gregorian calendar, which I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. So uh, my trans birthday is also my birthday birthday. Check it out. <laughs> so happy birthday to me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's all the news about that so far. I will let you know how bad the needle hurts. Coming soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye.